Hi guys, this is Evil Robbins and this is another Advent Vega video. This time I'm looking at Vega 1.6 in host mode. For those of you who don't know what host mode is, it basically enables the USB socket on the side to be used for other things, like keyboards, mice, all those kind of cool bits and mobs. But this time we're looking at host mode with a Xbox 360 controller plugged in. So this is your standard wired Xbox 360 controller plugged straight into the side, USB side socket. Uh, while running in host mode. To get your Vega into host mode, you turn the Vega off, hold down power button for a second so you get the backlight turn on. As soon as you see that backlight, take your finger off power and hold down back and keep holding back till it turns all the way on. There'll be no notifications, sounds, or anything like that. To check it, there's going to be an app link in the doobly doo below for the Advent Vega USB host mode indicator, which if you click on it and you've done it correctly, will show up as a USB host. If it shows a slave, it's not worked, try it again. It can take a few times to get the uh, timing just spot on. It's a bit like in V Flash. It won't work every time, all the time. It, it's, you get used to doing it after a while. So a couple of attempts, you'll get it every time. So to, hit, to kill two birds with one video, I'm going to link this with a emulation video that I've been asked to do as well. So we're going to be looking at Tiger Arcade, which is Mayhem Arcade, and SNES, which is Super Nintendo or Super Famicom. So we're going to Tiger Arcade, as this is the one I need to show you first. This is the only one you can get on the market at the moment. For some reason, Google had a big clear out and got rid of a lot of emulators uh, or emulating software. So, if you download Tiger Arcade, go into settings, scroll right to the bottom, you'll see an option for Tiger emulators. If you click on that, it'll give you a whole list of where to download the emulators from. Just by clicking the link and renaming it to .apk, somewhere on your memory card and installing it. So, there's a whole host of emulators on there from. Uh, the Genesis Mega Drive to the NES, Game Boy, Game Boy Color, PS1, even a DS emulator on there. So uh, there's quite a few different ones for you to play with on there. So we'll jump straight into a game on Tiger, which is going to be Metal Slug Super Vehicle, Super Vehicle 001. This is a Neo Geo game, so you'll need the extra part to run this. Now, unfortunately, I can't tell you where to get these ROMs from. I can just show you them or show them in part. Um, I've already gone ahead and set up the Xbox pad to work with buttons so you'll see up in this top corner here when I'm pressing stuff you'll see it's registering the button press so that'll be saying coin and I've already gone ahead and set up the start buttons. Like I say unfortunately I can't tell you where to get these ROMs from uh, but a quick Google and you'll turn a lot of them up. I'll just turn it down a second. Whenever you turn it up and down it does pause it that's a honeycomb thing. So I'll try and play this and not suck too much. Now I've got it set as D-pad, not the joystick. You feel free to set it up as a joypad. So I've seen that. Jumping, shooting, some specials, getting a crazy gun. This is a really good emulator. I mean, it runs really smoothly, this game does. And there's, there's quite a lot going on on the screen, to be fair. Um, but this is, isn't a game review. I'll even do it very quickly. Um, yeah, so you can see Metal, Metal Slug runs quite fine. That's a, a quite hefty Neo Geo game. As Neo, Neo Geo games are a little bit more hefty than your average game. I'm going to jump into Alien vs Predator. Now, for those of you who have played Alien vs Predator, this will look different purely because this is the arcade version and not the first person shooter. This is more of a side scrolling beat em up like Golden Axe and Streets of Rage and things like that. Like I say, we're not really doing a game review, so I'm going to run through all the options really quickly and just pick a character. I've picked this one mostly because there's a lot going on the screen right at the start. So, you see here, I can jump, I can fire, I can hit things. And there's not, not even a hint of slowdown. I mean, this is running at 1.2 GHz, which is the standard for Honeycomb. Um, the Vega came, sorry, 1.6 one. Uh, so it's a little bit quicker than your standard, but not in, not really that much, and I'm sure it'd run this quick anyway. So you can see there's a lot going on there, and yeah, that runs really smoothly. Um, the one button you can't change on the Xbox controller is this back button, it always acts as back, so there's not a lot you can do with that. So we'll close that, and we'll jump into a bit of Tiger Snare, so you can see it run a console. Consoles run a little bit differently, so um, Mario Kart. I think we'll try. Now I do own this ROM. Uh, not the ROM. I own the cartridge of this, so I do have a Super Nintendo somewhere. I think it's in my loft, <laughs> along with a couple of other ones. 
So we'll jump straight into a game of this. Yes, that's fine. We'll pick Toad. And we'll do a Flower Cup. So, this is quite a good game for multiple button presses. There's a screen can only take two presses. The control pack can take as many as you can throw at it. So, a whole next accelerate. We can hop around corners. We can pick up a special weapon, fire that, while hopping around a corner and accelerating. So you, can, you can press quite a lot of things at the same time. So I can be running, go around a corner while changing the view on the back. So you, you can press as many buttons as you like. So it is like playing it on a real console and there's no slowdown. So you can play this any way you like with no slowdown. And you can see I'm sucking quite badly at this so I'm going to swap to a different game. On the SNES emulator and the Mega Drive emulator, as the ones I've tried, from Tiger you have a save and quit option, which is really handy for the game you're playing doesn't support save functions. So you can jump into it and save it where you please rather than where it tells you to save it. So we'll jump into another Mario game. This is Mario World. Now I've already gone ahead and started the game once, so we've not got to sit through a uh, bit of an intro. We'll jump into the first level, and this is another game where multiple button presses are a must. So, for those of you who have played Mario, you'll know you can't jump very far if you're not holding run. And it's impossible to do that when you're using the on screen keyboard. So with the on screen keyboard, you're kind of running and jumping, and that's, you, know, you can just about cope with that. But the game, you really need to be able to run and jump and slide and all that kind of fun stuff. So, that's emulating on the uh, Advent Vega. It does emulate really, it does emulate games really well. I mean, it's like I say, it's running on Vega 1.6. It's running at 1.2 gigahertz, and um, running the Tiger emulators. But it just seems to run really smooth. I've, I've tried a few emulators out, and the Tiger ones seem to be the best. Um, I've tried the SNES 9X and a few other ones, but it does tend to fall over on a few games. Um, most noticeably, Mario Kart. It skips every other frame, so you get a lot of white out on it. So it'll white out for a second whenever you play it. It just looks like the game is jumping, whereas the game itself isn't actually jumping, it's just missing frames. Um, but it's quite a good emulator. I mean, with the screen size, it's got a 10 inch screen on it, so it's got a lovely screen size for playing these. And even it's stretched, which is what I'm running this at, um, there is another way of running it, which I will quickly show you. Under settings, this is on the same of, as all the emulators. Under scaling mode, you can change it to stretch to scale to two times. If you have it on scaled, it does look a little bit smaller. But that's the normal aspect ratio for it. But as you can see, if I go back to stretched, it doesn't look too different. It actually suits the screen size quite well because it's quite cartoony graphics, as most emulated games were. Yeah, they weren't very 3D or things like that in the, back in the day. Um, they look fine being stretched to 6.9. Uh, sorry, 16.9. Um, so you can quite happily play them in widescreen and not have to worry about it. Um, so yeah, that's the Xbox pad plugged into a Vega on host mode, running some emulators. Um, if you've got any comments, leave in the box below. If you've got any games you really want to see on here, give me a shout. I've got a, I've got a bit of a list I'm compiling at the moment of games that uh, people have asked me to look at. Um, if you've got any ideas of things you other things you want to see on the channel let me know so game reviews anything like that for the Vega or any other device and um, yeah like the video if you like it and uh, yeah thanks for all the subscribers I think we're up to around the 50 mark now so we're doing really well on the channel I'm really happy about that so thank you guys for subscribing and I'll see you guys next time